Hi, Matt Ryan Van here, the winemaker and wine grower for Ryan Van Family Vineyards. We are sitting here at uh, the Foothills uh, Vineyard. It's uh, about 1,600 feet elevation. Uh, it's a beautiful location to grow Syrah and Viognier. And today we're focusing on the 2013 Viognier, which is a wine that um, I really love to see where it's gone. We put so much energy into the farming. We're meticulous in how we handle our canopy management, our water management, um, and in 13 things came together. Foothills, we don't often make a Viognier uh, unless it's a very special vintage, and in 2013 it was. Um, you know, the way we make wine is very, um, very simplistic. We put the effort in the, vin the vineyard, and when the grapes come in, we don't um, inoculate with any outside yeast. We let the fermentations um, go cold, kind of cooler fermentations that gets a, a great, bright, richness characteristic to the Viognier. You still have that, that old world style where it has the terroir, it's got tension, it's got great acid, and it was just a fantastic year. I mean, when I first tasted it, I thought it was kind of in the style of George René, who is kind of a, a you know, obviously a, a benchmark of, of Viognier throughout the world. And, um, you know, we try to create wines that are more old world than new world. Uh, so with this particular wine, we aged it in a combination of uh, about 10 to 15% new French oak with the remainder, all, all of it being barrel fermented in neutral French oak. So you have a touch of new oak, the remainder of neutral, which captures the, the, the purity of the flavors that come from up here. Um, and we, we aged it for about 12 months. And I like to do a little bit of lee stirring for the whites to kind of get some richness to it. But it has this amazing natural acid that's given it this long life. I think when you're pairing this with, if you want to pair it with a meal, some food, I really love the combination of like a, um, a corn lobster salad or just, you know, Dungeness crab always is wonderful to go with this. But it can be drunk on its own as well. So it really depends on, on what you want to do. But um, yeah, so we've only made this, I think, three or four times, three times. And 2013 was a wonderful one. So thank you so much. And I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, it's beautiful today in Walla Walla. And we hope you come visit us sometime and taste it directly at the winery.